Hey, hey, hey! Uh, back on the water again. I am down Morrissey's again, this time with my girl. Um, we're going to have a bit of a play along mud flats here. The other day, as you saw in the video, uh, we, uh, <laughs> we did a bit of sight casting for mud crabs. It was a lot of fun, so anyway, we'll see how we go. And uh, you can join the ride. Be back in a second. So we're gonna have a bit of fun. We're gonna go along the banks and see if we can um, get some muddies. Bit of sight casting. Well, the wake of that boat's not gonna help the cause, but. See here we go. There's one there. Oh, didn't grab it. There's one there. You probably can't see the mud crabs in the camera but there's oh that's no good that's to the left of him but there's a mud crab slightly to the right of my lure the other right it gets a little bit hard to see them after a boat's gone past but you'll see them along the banks you just look for the darker patches And obviously while we're doing this, you can also, um, you can pick up flathead going along here. Right. I don't see any muddies like I did yesterday. You can see them all along this bank. There was heaps of them, like you could, you could see them. Dull? There. Radio. Let's give this a go. Oh, those fellows are fishing. God, they're fishing that snag I want to fish. Oh, well. it's everybody's creek. Anybody can fish anywhere they'd like. Cast on that side, love. I'm just going to give these blokes a bit more distance. The young fellas there, I'm just going to give them a little bit more distance. They were here first, and I don't want to encroach on their, on their area, so I'll just wait until they move. 
Now I know a lot of you are going, why? There's a lot of creek. But see those snags there? Right? I've pulled some good barrows out of there, so and I know they'll be there, and then you've got that lot of snags there, and then over there you got some snakes. These here, the barrels will sit. So, um, and those fellas, they were here first, so I'll give them a wide berth. When you get into the lure, ca lure casting game and you're going to work the snags and all the rest of it, see these fellas here, right? This is as close as I'll ever get to them. It, to, to get any closer, you're encroaching on their patch because they're there first, right? And never, the golden rule is never, ever jump in front of them. Don't, don't go in front of a boat that's luring. That's just, that's not, it's not a done thing. <clears throat> right? So I'll wait let them move off and then I'll just work this area but I won't work it until they're well and truly gone because that's just the way it is <clears throat> good cast The little uh, inlets like that. Try and get in there. And you'll find jacks will hang around in spots like that. Just not today. You're right, cast any time you want, darling. Now you'll notice Tanya's been casting the left-hand side of that tree. There's a reason for that. The tide's going out, so what we're doing is we're casting as close as we can, letting it seep down and it'll sink underneath. So if there's anything underneath, there's a chance that we may interact with it. And the tide's going that way. So now, a structure like this, it's worth just sitting here for 20 or 30 casts and just sussing it out. You know, you may not get a fish on your first, second, third, or tenth cast. You may not get a fish at all. <clears throat> but you've got to give it a go. And sometimes structure like this will hold your bigger barrows and they're the sort of casts you got to do Just get it in there don't be afraid I've watched a lot of people uh, fishing and how they hold their uh, rod when they're fishing. And most of them I'll see with bait casters, they hold like this. See that? Right? Whereas I, wedding ring finger sits in front of the, the pistol grip and I hold it like that. Now, the reason I do that is it's less work on my wrist. Right? If you hold it like this, it causes like a bit of stretch here and a little bit more work on your part, right? Well, you don't need that. So what I want you to do, you don't have to, of course, this is just a tip. Just bring your hand forward, finger behind, little finger behind, the rest of the fingers in front, and put your thumb on top. And you'll find, one, it'll feel a little bit better in your hand, and two, it's less work. Yeah, it's worth a try, give it a go, you don't have to. This spot that I'm in now is right up the back of Big Salty. Um, it's one of my favorite creeks to fish. I haven't been here for a couple of weeks and there's been some substantial changes 
there's a kick-ass tree right there a few of the banks have dropped that's dropped back there this tree's been there for a while but over there it's dropped so this stuff is been a while so we shall give it a whirl this creek's good for jacks and barrows but I will be honest uh, right now I'm a little bit concerned because there's a lot of fresh in here but anyway let's give it a go you never know This clump, uh, this clump here, I've pulled some good fish out of here. They'll sit in here. You've got to be a little bit brave. You've got to take a few risks and put it in areas a little bit spooky, like that. Got him! Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Yeah, no, I need the net. He's a good one. Get him! Get him! Get him! Ten bucks, girly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a fat one too. Look at that. I'll be back. Well, this one went 63, and uh, <laughs> I don't really want to fill it anything. So he's uh, he scored his freedom. <laughs> nice little 63 I called him 64 but 63 it's okay oh there you go <clears throat> so you got one is it a barra cod now this snag I do like oh I just don't like doing casts like that I've done really well here but it's like all snags one day it runs hot another day nothing I think that's what I love about snag bashing, it's the, you know the country works, you just gotta, just be gentle, drop it in there, it's gotta be patient, good cast. I look at a, I look at a structure like this and think, okay, where would I be if I was a barra? And I'd probably be in areas like that. There's one in there, I can see him. There's a couple in there. Good cast. Bad cast. Ooh, yuck. There we go. Get him out, force him. Force him, be brutal. You got him? Here we go. Just lift him out of the water. <laughs> nice little fella. Wood wood. Do you want to keep him or let him go? Well, I don't think he's legal. 
No, it's not, but <laughs> I just want to ask. I don't want to throw it overboard and then you go, you let it go. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back. Pretty little fella. That's two. Good girl. Right, oh. oh, what the hell was that? Crappy cars. Right, oh. So, remembering the tide's going out, <coughs> cast out a little bit so it'll drift in that way. It's a slow outgoing, so you won't drift fast, but... You can just go across the face of that uh, structure there. Go across the face of it, and... <clears throat> if there's any barrows sitting there... See, still sinking. There we are on the bottom now. So if there's any barrows, they'll have a go at you. No barrows. <clears throat> but just don't do one cast. That's a waste of time. And they'll sit up in those places, like up in there. They'll sit in there. Nice cast. <clears throat> God, you'd think there'd be a bear in that, wouldn't you? That little bit too high. You gotta be kidding me. Are you serious? I pepper that thing to foam. Is it a cod? Cod or a jack? Cod. Big cod by the feels of it. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a good one. Back in a second. Whew. Well that was a black spot. Um obviously. Went 46 and released. Now I just said to the girl, I said I peppered that thing to foam. She puts one cast in there. So there's a lesson from that. Just because you worked, it doesn't mean there's not a fish there. So the person down the back could be the color of the lure. She's got a black and gold. It could be the retrieval rate. And it could be that the kite's just going, I've had enough of this and had a crack. So. Just because someone's had a go at a snag doesn't mean you shouldn't. Wowzers. Not even a cod out of that. That's... Oh yes, that was... Oh, I've got him. <laughs> I 
I didn't think I had him. I, I thought he just hit me and... <sighs> He's around the electric. <laughs> I, I thought he let it go. <laughs> I thought he just went donk. <clears throat> I'll be back in a second. Not so on me. What little fellas normally do. Here we go. Ah, oh, damn it. So, damn. Yeah. No, I just got him. Huh. I found him hit the lure, but I thought I missed him and he just swam at me. Anyway, back in the water you go. That's a bit. <laughs> I think this is where I'll come tomorrow. Right eye. Oh. Yeah, got him. I lost him. Ah, oh, that was a barra. Oh, that was a hit. There's a barry there. There is a barrow there. Exactly the same spot. Let's see if I get him this time. Got him. Nah, lost him. Right, sweater. I'm going to turn the boat sideways. Right hand side. See those bubbles? That's where you need to be. There's a barrow there and he hit me twice. You stuck? Oh, wood brim. Hey? I was wondering why the boat was coming around. Oh, that's disappointing. That barrow hit me twice. You're not going to do it a third time, I'm afraid. But I could be wrong. Yeah, he's gone. Damn it. All right, work the right hand side, love. There's one there. I'll try the left. Yeah, right there. Hit me twice. Oh, got him. <laughs> Lost him. <laughs> it was sinking. <laughs> it was actually, <laughs> it was going down. Oh, there, he, there he's got him, got him that time. Net, that's a good one.
That was a good fish. It happens. It is what it is. I mean, all that kerfuffle cannot come from one barra. I had three hits and then I hooked up. That can't be from just one barra. If it is, he's a quick bastard. Like, here we go. For people that are not into lure casting, but watch, this sort of stuff is, to me, to me, is extremely exciting. It's just, you just don't know where to cast. You're looking at stuff go there, then there, then, you know, you're looking at every cast, you go, and just so much fun, like you just, no, oh, that's terrible. But look at that spot there. See up the, oh, you might not be able to see it, but you got one section, it's shallow, then it drops into that deep section there. And they're the sort of spots that I expect to get hit. Not good at casting overhead anymore. Got him. Yeah. We'll pretend it's close season. <laughs> it's probably 55, if that. <laughs> anyway. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Oh, that's that's a good one. Oh yes, 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 yes. That's a nice one. Turn him, turn him, turn him, turn him. That's the way. Bring him towards me. Bring him towards me. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Back in a second. Another nice little one. This one went a metre three. <laughs> well, all right. I wish. 53. <laughs> Got him. What the hell is it? It's a jackmeister. <laughs> one thing I'm going to do is rip those out and put those little up and down ones. Oop. Huh. Little baby Jack. Thank you. 
aus dem Bett. Right, oh, hang on, love. Oh, okay. She's uh, she's a bit warm. I think the girl and I'll be calling it quits shortly. I'm going to see that from the lure. <laughs> right. <sighs> Got him. <sighs> oh, 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 oh. In you come. Another little fella. I don't care how big they are, I really don't. 45 or 65, 75, they're just fun to catch. And I'll put him back. Well, that's us done. It was just short, oh, I can't get the words out today. It was a short session. Um, and the, the heat's sort of knocking us both around, so we'll be off the water way before 1.30, so anyway. But uh, I'm coming up to a snag right there. I'm just going to see what it has to offer on side imaging. Let's have a look. Uh, nothing on it. Anyway, we're going to give it the flick. I hope you learned something from this. Uh, if you want me to cover something else, let me know in comments and I'll try and make it happen. Like I always say, like, subscribe, make me a millionaire. Catch you later, stay safe.